Here is a quick tip that might help you a little bit with making selections. You can see I've already started making a selection around this uh, golf ball in my layout. I might just want to extract that and put it in another part of my layout. However, because uh, the golf ball's green and the golf grass behind it is green, when I'm going in here and trying to um, I'm on the clone tool. Let me get on the right tool. That might be helpful. When I go in here and I am trying to work close to that ball and I can't quite tell maybe where the ball is and where the grass is in order to um, make this work. I may need to get rid of those little marching ants so that um, I can see exactly where I'm working. And in order to do that, you simply hit Control H on the keyboard. Now the selection is still there, but we just can't see it. And I can now uh, maybe go in and work with it a little closer without having that selection in my way. And then I simply hit Control H on the keyboard again, and you can see I've kind of boofed it up. I think I did it backwards. <laughs> I, I uh, was uh, holding down the Alt key when I shouldn't have been. And of course, um, when you can't quite see what you're doing, you uh, end up goofing up like that. But Control H makes those ants go away, and then you can actually see where the line is. I'm going to hold down my Alt key to erase anything and now I can hit Control H again and make those marching ants come back. Um, so I can see exactly where I'm at. I actually do better with my marching ants there but for some people you may do better without them and so I hope you've enjoyed this quick tip. I hope it's been helpful to you and uh, see you around next time.